Hey everyone, this is Josh Carney. I am an audio recording engineer, producer, musician, composer, and educator. In this course, I'll show you vocal mixing and production techniques using Isotope Nectar 3. Nectar 3 is an incredible all-in-one plugin that allows you to add compression, uh, de-essing, delay, dimension modulation effects like chorus, flanger, and phaser, EQ. And by the way, the EQ isn't just a standard EQ, it's actually a dynamic EQ, so you can add compression and expansion to each band as well. There's a gate, as well as a harmony engine, which allows you to add up to eight harmonies to your voice. There's a reverb module and a saturation module, and the saturation module has seven different types of saturation that you can pick from, including tape and tube saturation. In addition, there's a built-in automatic pitch correction module that always stays first in the plug-in chain. With this, you can choose the key of your vocals. So for example, I'll choose C minor here. And what this will do is it will automatically pitch correct the vocals based on your strength and speed settings as well as the key that you set for your song. Nectar 3 also comes bundled with Melodyne Essential, so if you need to do additional fine-tuning to your vocals, you can use that plugin separately. Also bundled is the RX-7 Breath Control and Relay plugins. Other than the pitch module, which always comes first, you can add the modules in Nectar in any order you like to create your own custom vocal processing chain. I tend to use Dynamics and EQ first, and then I'll add my time-based effects like delay, dimension, and reverb last in the chain. And that's how I have this course laid out. I'll have full tutorials for each of the modules, but I'll be introducing them in the desired signal chain order that I would use them in. There's also an incredible vocal assistant that will suggest a custom preset based on the analysis of your vocals. And then you can go back in and you can tweak those settings any way you like. I'll jump right into using this in the next video. You can adjust the input and output gain with these faders right here, but there's also an ALM button and a limiter. The ALM button turns on auto level mode, and what this does is it allows you to set a target level, and ALM constantly adjusts the input level to hit the desired target level. The limiter can be applied to the output level, and you'll see the gain reduction right here. Down here, there's a no latency bypass button. This is great because it's much smoother than using your DAW's bypass button within its plugin window. And you can quickly AB the before and after without getting any weird pops or clicks or hiccups in the signal because there's no latency. The match button automatically matches the volume level of the input to the output signal when the bypass button is pressed. So this compensates for any volume changes introduced by the processing within Nectar. So this is great because typically the output level is going to be louder than the input level, and matching the volume level of the input allows you to make a better judgment about the processing without just hearing the volume increase. You can adjust the pan of the entire plugin here. And if you put this on zero, it'll go back to C, which is center. And you can add stereo width with the positive values here, or you can reduce the stereo width with negative values. So that's just an overview of the features and the layout of Nectar 3. Just one last note, you can see that I'm using Logic to demonstrate this, but Nectar will work with any DAW because it's available in AU, VST, and AAX formats.